Hi, I'm Maggie Weldon for Maggie's Crochet, and this arm knitting couture jazz scarf video is sponsored by Premier Yarns. I'm absolutely in love with arm knitting. Um, yesterday was Christmas, and at our party, I had to teach everyone there how to arm knit. I just love it, and I'm, I'm getting ready to do an arm knitting afghan. This scarf was created with two skeins of this amazing yarn. And in the close-up, I show you how to sew the two skeins together so that you, when you're working, you just have one continuous strand of yarn to create your scarf. And for this scarf, I used the Couture Jazz, and this yarn is like an open net style yarn that is great for scarves and accessories. It's a super bulky number six yarn. And it comes in 14 solid colors that you see here. And some of the colors are this beautiful purple and this royal blue. And there's a black. And then there's, um, I think this one's called Milk. I'm not exact on these color names. There's a beautiful teal and a beige and this beautiful olive green. And then there's this pretty pink color. And then there's a gray. And... Um, a red and a hot pink so this scarf is really fluffy and very very warm I just love this and I made this by only casting on three stitches and to start out with I'm going to show you part of it right here you have to create what's called a long tail for a long tail cast on and to do that you want to measure off a yard and a half of your yarn so to get a yard, I always go like this and measure from my nose to the tip of my hand, and that's about a yard right there. So all you need for your long tail is a yard and a half. So if you take this in half and then go right here, this is a yard and a half, just about. It doesn't have to be exact. And then when I do the close-up, I'll start by showing you a slip knot right here. So this will be referred to as your long tail. And the rest of this will be your working yarn. So you'll see on the close-up of the video. And this scarf can be worn doubled, or it could be just like one long scarf, like, like that. So, but I like it doubled. But anyway, so now I'm going to go to a close-up and show you how to do all of this on your arm. It's amazing. I just love it. So um, the links to everything are listed below and let's get started with your lesson. Since I know that I'm going to be using two skeins of yarn, I'm going to go ahead and attach the end of this skein, which is the outside strand, to the beginning of this second skein, which is the inside skein. So what I've come up with is um, I'm going to take this side, I'm going to fold in the rough edge like this, just about two inches. So I'm going to fold it to the inside. Then I'm going to take this, is the, um, this strand from the second ball, and this came from the inside of this ball. And I'm going to stick that inside of the first strand like this. Then I have a nice smooth edge there. Then I have a strand of worsted weight yarn on a yarn needle. And all I'm going to do is weave this across going through both thicknesses. So just do that. I'm going to leave that end right there. And then I'm going to come back on the other side. I'm just going to turn this over and I'm just going to weave this back to the other side just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to tie that with the beginning really good, but I don't want to pull too tight because it's just woven in there and I don't want it to pull together. So if I put a lot of knots in there Okay, that's good. Then I'm just going to take this end and I'm going to weave it back into the center of the yarn like that. Okay, then all I got to do 
is cut this. I cut flat so I don't cut into it. And then I cut this little end here because I knotted it so many times. So there I have the yarn joined together. You're not going to see this when the um, scarf is complete. So now I don't have to worry about tying on the strand while I'm in the middle of the um, project. I measured off one and a half yards for my long tail and the remaining yarn is my working yarn. So my long tail is going to be over on this side and at the one and a half yard mark I'm going to make a slip knot. So to make a slip knot there's several ways to do it but this is how I do it. You make a loop like this, the top strand goes to the back and then you pull that back strand forward. It kind of looks like a little pretzel there. So you pull that forward and you'll notice there's a knot side and then there's a slip side. So you want to pull the knot side not too tight and then pull the slip side on the slip side like this to make it big enough to fit over your hand so that it can go onto your arm. So this will count as your first stitch right here. I don't know why I have all these little tiny things that show up on high definition. Okay, so we need to just cast on two more stitches for the scarf. So to do that, I've got my strands here. I'm just going to go like this and pick those up like this. Now I just have two strands draped over my hand. And I'm going to go here, go underneath this strand, and pick up this strand and put it on my hand and then slide it down to my arm and that's how you cast on one stitch so then you tighten these two strands here you don't want it super tight just like that so now I have two stitches on my arm okay now the next one you just pick this up you have two strands there you go on this side of that strand Pick up this strand off the other side of your hand and put your hand through there. Just like that. And then you can pull, see it's kind of uh, drapey there, so you just pull the two strands to tighten it up so it should look like that underneath. Well, this should be a little bit tighter like this. Okay, so now I've cast it on three stitches. Now, I don't need this tail anymore and I probably could have gotten away with just over a yard. I tried this with a yard and it wasn't enough so that's why I went with a yard and a half. So I won't be needing that anymore and now um, I'll show you how to do row one. So row one, the side that has the loops on it, I'll be holding the working yarn in that hand and all you do is slide this off, drop that loop down onto the working yarn and then just take that loop and put it on the opposite arm and tighten that loop that you just made like that. It'll still tighten with the um, with the uh, long tail too. Okay so this strand goes back over here just simply pull this off there and slide that over to your opposite hand and then pull this pull on the working yarn. Okay, back to this hand, slide this loop off, and then no twisting or anything, you just slide it off and put it over here. So that's the end, that's how you do row one. And if you pull it out, you see the little knitting stitches right there. I actually am having a lot of fun doing these um, arm knitting projects. I really enjoy them. Okay, so hold this, drop this loop off onto the working yarn and just bring your other hand in and put the loop over there and then tighten you always want to tighten so the the working yarn goes back over here drop take this loop off your arm put the that loop the new loop over on the opposite hand and pull take this over here drop this strand onto the working yarn, take the new loop and put it on the opposite hand. So that is row two. So if you pull this out, 
you see more knitting stitches. So let me try show you that again. Hold the working yarn here, drop the loop over, and take the new loop and put it on your opposite hand and pull these loops. Hold the yarn here, pull this one over, take the new loop and slide it over to the opposite hand. Hold the yarn here, take this loop over, and push it onto the opposite hand. So that's the end of row three. So now row four, hold this here, slide this off, new loop goes over here, and then pull this tight. Hold the working yarn here, slide the next loop off, the next stitch, and put, pull that, push it onto your other arm. And then tighten it around your arm, hold it here, pull this off and tighten it and push it onto your arm and tighten. So you just keep going until you get down near the end and because I started with three and uh, no one and a half yards at the beginning for my long tail when you use up both skeins until you have a yard and a half left that's how long you're going to need that end strand to be for binding off. So make sure that you stop before you run out of yarn and make sure that you have at least a yard and a half at the end and then I'll come back on video I'm gonna finish my scarf and then I'll show you how to bind off so I have finished the two skeins of yarn and this is how long my cowl is and I have just about a yard and a half of the yarn left so now it's time to bind off and when you get ready to bind off, it doesn't matter which side the loops are on. So it just so happened that I ended over here with the loops. So to bind off, I'm just going to work my row like I'm used to. And uh, there'll just be one little change at the end. So I need my working strand here. I'm going to pull the first loop off my um, arm. And then I'm going to drop that loop onto the working yarn and put that strand over on the opposite hand. I'm still pulling, tightening every loop. So now I'm going to put this back over here on the working hand. And then I'm going to pull that loop off, drop it, and push that over onto the opposite hand right there. And then I'm going to pull. Now when I've got two loops here, I'm going to take the first loop that I pulled off and pull it over the second loop that I pulled off and just let that drop down and that's a bound off stitch. Now I'm going to go back over here put my yarn in, he in this hand pull the last loop off slide that over here and if you guessed this move you'd be right. So I'm just going to take the previous loop and move it over the loop I just took off and that's it. That's how I, you bind it off and then you hold on to that last loop. You don't want to drop that because it would all unravel. You take the rest of the strand right here and all you do is open that up just like this and pass it through that loop. And if you pull that, then that locks it right there. And if you look on that bind off, you'll see like a row of, of loops there. So you'll have three loops there and when you go back over to the beginning, I'm going to tuck all this in there. When you go back to the beginning and you pull that row out a little bit like that, you'll see that you have three loops from your cast on. So what you want to do is take either strand here and um, if you want to connect these two, you could wear this as a scarf and maybe you want to um, fringe this. You could actually um, bind off earlier so you have more for a fringe but it looked really cute to just fringe the scarf. Or you can make it go in one big circle like this and sew it together like this. Or you could twist this one time to give it more of a um, you know just a I don't know, just a different um, look. You could twist it several times actually, or you could just wait and this will twist around your neck one time. So anyway, that's how you make it. And to sew these together, you could just use your hands because this is so thick. You could use either one. 
and the opposite one you want to feed back into the stitches that's what I recommend and just feed it in maybe about um, maybe about eight inches I would feed it back and then maybe wind this around a couple of times and then um, and then into there and then just at some point just cut that end okay there and then here you would just match the three stitches together so you take that end and bring it through two strands of this side and just bring that through like that and then you go get two strands from the next stitch right here and you bring that through there it doesn't have to be exact because you're not going to see that and see I've got two strands right here in the center so I'm going to push that through there and then this yarn is really really soft it's great then I'm going to take two strands on the outside over here come back over this side now I'm going to take the corner over here that's my slip knot right there and I'm just going to put this through the the first chain of my slip knot there so that's a good joining you can't really see it and then I'll just weave this back in also so that's how you ha um, arm knit um, this beautiful cowl using Couture Jazz Yarn from Premier. The links to everything will be listed below and I want to thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to our channel.